Hey everybody, welcome back to Guns and Gadgets, your source for Second Amendment news. This is a video I knew I was going to have to make. It hurts me to make it. And unfortunately, this is an I told you so video. This is for all those folks who have said it'll never happen here. Okay, I get a ton of messages, more than you would ever believe, comments on bills that I put up, on laws that are sweeping the nation, on all this gun control. And without fail, there's always people who say, never happen here, or the president will never sign it. Well, here's one that people didn't think would happen. The red flag bill, the extreme risk protection order, has been submitted in New Hampshire. Now, I want to give a shout out to a viewer, Dave. I won't put all your information out here because of, obviously, I don't want everybody getting a hold of you uh, to give you a little bit of privacy but I saw this about two seconds before I read the email from Dave who uh, was kind enough to forward me uh, the, uh, the it's the Conway Daily newspaper in which this is actually an article from the clown who uh, who proposed this bill co-sponsored the bill I'm not gonna stretch it long because it is what it is it's illegal it's unconstitutional on so many levels I'll read you a couple excerpts from the actual article that Jerry Knurk has uh, put in the Conway uh, the Conway Daily to try to sell to this uh, the bill that he's co-sponsored. I want to read you a couple things, point out the truth in what he said because the truth is here. He says it, you just people can't read it because uh, you know they're sheep. So let's get into it. So first off, I have the bill up here. It's uh, 2019-0007. You click on it and it doesn't go anywhere yet, which means that they haven't imported it or uploaded the actual text to the website. I'll have a link in the description. Check it often. Eventually it's gonna get there. It's a weekend, probably not this weekend, but my bet is it's gonna be there uh, on Monday. Okay, so we know the bill number and I'll have a link in the description. Now, what this Jerry Knurk says, however the hell you say his name, I don't care. Um, I'm going to read you a couple excerpts, like I said, and tell you the truth behind it. I'm going to try to make this quick for you because I hate these bills. I hate them. I hate them. They are unconstitutional. And if you want them served, whoever proposes these bills, whether it's uh, Marco Rubio or whatever, you can be the first through the door. Okay? Man up. So this is what he's saying, okay? He opens up saying what it is and how you can take guns from people who are problems. Second paragraph, in his own words, quote, there are already ways for the court to restrict a person's access to firearms under statutes dealing with domestic violence and stalking, but they require that a person has already committed a crime. He says right there in one sentence that, you know, in order to take somebody's guns, they have to be found guilty or convicted of a crime. Well, we don't want to have to, like, do what the Constitution guarantees people. We just want to take them. In his own words. Next one says... Under the involuntary commitment statute, which in different states call them different things, but that's when you see people are having an issue, whether it's mental, medical, and you can involuntarily commit them to the hospital for treatment. Okay, under the involuntarily in, under the involuntary commitment statute, a person also loses his or her access to guns, but that's a process confining a person to mental health facility, and there's a very high bar of uh, a very high bar to attain to get that to take place. Yes, because you just can't go taking people's freaking constitutionally guaranteed rights. You. Then he goes into saying that these ERPOs will save people's lives. It'll stop people from killing themselves. No, it won't. It won't do that at all. Uh, even one quote he has on here, he's trying to pull at the heartstrings. It says, guns are much more lethal than other means of attempting suicide with a fatality rate of approximately 85%. In all my years on the job, I can tell you that uh, no matter how people kill themselves, they're, they're dead. Uh, no, nothing has been more lethal than the other. I've seen people step in front of trains and kill themselves. They're still dead. Uh, they didn't die any more lethal than if they shot themselves. Uh, believe me when I tell you, I've seen it. And that line is full of it. Now, he also says that New Hampshire needs this and that two-thirds of gun deaths in this country are suicides. Then he quotes New Hampshire stats, saying between 2013 and 2017, nearly 1,200 people in New Hampshire committed suicide. And nearly half of that, nearly half of that was guns. So the country is 66%. But New Hampshire's less than 50%. You're ahead of the curve, but you're trying to sell this as, we need to do this now. Now, suicide is terrible no matter what, but you shouldn't use it to try to force unconstitutional laws or try to pull the wool over anybody's eyes. Shame on you. Then the kick in the pants says, in 2018, which you saw the video here, I'll put it above my head, uh, the Federal Commission on School Safety, the Trump administration's uh, report that came out with about two weeks ago. It says right here, all right, in 2018, the Federal Commission on School Safety recommended state adoption and implementation of the extreme risk protection order laws as a way to promote school safety. And that's the truth. The Trump organization is telling the states, you should do this. And then people sit here and say, it'll never happen here. It won't happen in New Hampshire. It won't happen in Tennessee. It won't happen in wherever. It's happening. 
and the states are filing them, and they will file it. Granted, some of them have been defeated. Texas defeated one last year, Texas. But guess what? It's coming back. And as they, as they, you know, the leftists, the Marxists, as they win control of the states, whether it's by, you know, voter fraud or whatever, when a state flips blue, this will pass. Believe me when I tell you. And if you don't think that Marco Rubio's bill nationally has a chance of passing, you, my friend, are sadly mistaken. Please pass this along. I can't tell you how important it is that the folks out there who might not watch this get this information. The extreme risk protection order is nothing, nothing other than a way to circumvent the Second Amendment and take somebody's guns from them up to life. Don't believe me? Start looking into your domestic violence or restraining orders in your state and look at what the extreme risk protection order does. It's the exact same thing with one caveat to strip you of your Second Amendment. Now, real quick, I'm going to list here all the amendments in the the, uh, the Bill of Rights that the extremist protection order violates, because you never see that. You always see, oh, we can help people, we can keep kids safe. How about what it actually does to Americans and their liberty, okay? Let's do that real quick. Your First Amendment right to free speech, okay? As a comment or even social media posts can be used against you, that's not free speech, right? They violate your Second Amendment right to keep and bear arms, obviously, because they come in under the cover of night and they take your guns illegally. Your Fourth Amendment right to protection from unreasonable searches and seizures is violated because it's not a reasonable search. They not you're not a criminal. You haven't done you haven't been uh, uh, convicted of anything. You're not violating any laws. You, you're legally and lawfully possessing your firearms. And they're coming in like the old days, like when the Britain uh, redcoats would just come in and go through your house, right? That's what they're violating here, the Fourth Amendment. Your Sixth Amendment right to a speedy and public trial. Okay, in 90% of the erpos that I've read, word for word. There are two versions of the ERPO in that law. There's the temporary order and then the permanent order. The temporary order, there is no hearing. You go to somebody, uh, they say it's a judge, but not in every state, and they say, yep, go get it. They go get the guns. You have no trial. You have no right to confront your accused. You have no right to have an attorney present, and you are assumed guilty until you can prove yourself innocent. That is a major fault, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, I just said you're not afforded your Sixth Amendment right to an impartial jury. The Sixth Amendment also guarantees, like I said, the right to confront your accuser. You can't. You don't have the assistance of counsel, Sixth Amendment as well. You don't. Uh, and the Eighth Amendment affords the right uh, to be free of cruel and unusual punishment. Don't you think that's cruel and unusual? Here I am, minding my business, following all the laws that they make me jump through, all the hoops as a gun owner in whatever state, and here they come kicking my door down because somebody who I might have pissed off made a false claim. The extreme risk protection orders, if you learn nothing else from this video, you take nothing else away, know that the extreme risk protection orders, the red flag bills, violate every single facet of our constitutionally guaranteed due process. You know what you need to do. You need to make the phone calls. Go to the office hours if you can. I know New Hampshire has very accessible representatives. I'll have a link in the description so you can find out who your reps are in New Hampshire and how you can go about contacting them. I'll do all the legwork. All you gotta do is make a click. Please pass this along. I beg of you, pass these red flag videos on. This is the biggest fight we have of our Second Amendment rights in our generation. Mark my words. It's coming nationally. It's gonna be in every single state. It's only a matter of time. And this is gonna be the one that brings it to a boil. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. This is where you're gonna get the news, ladies and gentlemen. Links are in the description of every video of all my social media. Please join those. Because uh, I'm already seeing effects here. Unfortunately, since I did the video with Guns Gun Owners of America, uh, YouTube is starting to do some funny stuff, and Facebook, I was in Facebook jail for three days. So join the other sources of social media there. I feel like a ninja. <laughs> join my other sources of social media, please, uh, so we can all get the information no matter what happens to any one of the, the options. The others will still be there. Until we see each other again, this is Jared from Guns and Gadgets. Be safe, stay vigilant, carry a weapon. Take care, everybody.